this mean? What does it mean for jobs? What does it mean for wages? What does it mean for public services? These are issues, real, serious political issues, that ordinary people want to have answers to. And they are looking, they want to, they clearly we've got a Prime Minister who is now going to start those negotiations. But Labour voters and millions of other people are also looking to what our opposition is going to do and going to say in terms of that major political debate that we now face. And at that very time, when people were looking for that challenge to the Tories, that very weekend, we saw this miraculously, uh, accidental apparently, uh, series of resignations that took place on the hour and a number of them magically took place in TV studios of Labour cabinet, shadow cabinet ministers uh, resigning in an attempt to force Jeremy Corbyn out. One thing that struck me throughout this debate, when you hear some of the things that have been said about Jeremy Corbyn, is Jeremy, you're a very honourable person, you're a very honest person, you've got great policies, uh, but you're not a good leader. And it does say, when they criticise someone for being honest and for standing up for his values, what sort of leadership these people actually want to see. in the Parliamentary Labour Party. And I think that Jeremy Corbyn showed precisely the sort of qualities of leadership that we need. He has remained calm. He has not resorted to personal abuse at any time, such as the abuse that has been involved in. But he has remained determined and firm to stick by his policies. And that's why the coup failed. Because while they live in the little bubble in Westminster, out here we organised, we organised on the streets, we organised in Parliament Square to say actually the Labour Party is bigger than 170 MPs. Stand behind us and stand 
side by side with us in struggles, we will in turn stand